Good afternoon and welcome to coverage of the fifth annual Ronald Ross Rock Paper Scissors Tournament. Luke, I'm very excited. How are you feeling? I'm excited, um, I'm nervous, um, mm -hmm. I'm just happy to be here, A, for this wonderful tournament and what a wonderful occasion it is, and I'm happy to be here with you. Happy to be back. I mean, we missed you last year. Uh, how is your wife? Oh, she's tired, thank you. Thank you for asking. Nice right to hear it. Anyway, shall yeah. we meet the contestants? Let's meet the contestants, Luke. Right. Who do we have here? Oh, he's gone for traditional Roman dress. Yep, and this is Faris, the Rock Knuckle Roman. I'm familiar with this 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 contestant. A bit of a wild seed. Yes. A special move, the Berserker. Hmm. Uh, is that where he would... Yeah. He would frantically shake his limbs. Yeah. To act as a, as, as a, I guess, a smoke screen for his opponent before throwing down a move. And that could be a rock, it could be a scissor, it could be a paper. Please. Who's this? Oh, crikey. Who have we got? Oh, Marvi the Merciless. Marvi the Merciless. Now, she yeah. is a welterweight, I believe. Welterweight. Again. I, ah, pointless pilot. Guessing a nod to the hat of the famous Roman celebrity Pontius Pilate of the first century AD. Very clever. Certainly a Roman theme of old. Wow. The paper palm princess. A superb, oh, a twirl, a twirl and she's Whoa. in. Oh, what I an like arrival. Her. Fantastic. I am excited to see what unfolds here. She has a very interesting track record, the paper palm princess. I believe she's unbeaten in two bouts earlier this year in Lambeth. Oof. Lambeth, now that's a big, mm. that is a big tournament. That is a big tournament. It's, <laughs> it's not for the faint-hearted. Here is a face that I recognise. Mm. Finley Scissorfingers, mm. younger sibling of the famous player Edward Scissorfingers. Famously sued, of course, by Hollywood for copyright infringement. Yes, mm. um, Edward Scissorfingers obviously being one of the, the greatest player the game has ever seen. Mm. With his signature moves. A predictable player, though. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. Who do we have here? Board. It is. Jada the Paper Cut Crook. That, her name means business. Ah, Captain Pinkbeard himself, of course. Now, the attachment on his left hand is not for fashion's sake. That was actually from... So when he, when he, uh, when we talked earlier on about the safety mm. concerns in the earlier tournaments, and yeah. this is a prime example of a, of a contestant losing his hand during uh, a tournament. Uh, yeah, uh, nasty. And finally, Ooh. The smooth criminal himself. Mr. Bad, Brandon, the boulder fist bandit. I'm going to go out on a limb here, Luke. I'm going to say he's my dark horse. You know what, with, with, he's just, he just stays so cool in the competition. I think mm. he's, got, he's got the moves, mm. he's got mm. the look, mm. and he just stays so, so cool. And the contestants are ready. Okay, there they are, warming up. Very important to warm up, Luke. Yeah, of course it is, because you know, you're going in mm. with such speed in this competition, and you cannot just turn up and expect to play those sort of moves and walk away injury-free unless you warm up. And I see so many contestants doing it, you know, and at this level, you really need to take that seriously. Um, and you know, we, those obliques need to be warmed up, the, the biceps, mm. especially the arms, the lower arms. The wrists. I mean, these are all muscles that I've heard of. Every single muscle will be tested in this game. Um, especially the hamstrings and the calves. And you don't think about that in this game because you think it's all about arms, it's all about hands. But the stability, the, the power that you generate through your lower body and your legs when you're lunging in for a move is half of, half of, the, half of the game. True. And people don't True. realize that. The turnover of players, of young people, playing this sport day in, day out is, is, is so fast. They, they, they rarely stay on the books of clubs yep. for very long. I mean, what's, I mean once, you're, once you're, what, 12 years old, you're already... You're already... You're a pro. You're a seasoned pro by 12. I mean, these young players are 10, 11. And you barely see a player walk onto no. or into the Coliseum over the age of 13. I mean, at that age, you're, you're a Buffon-esque. Right, first two contestants up. Who do we have? Finley Scissorfingers versus Faris the Rockfist Roman. Okay, God, look at that setting. What a wonderful place. And here we have the Pointless Pilot versus Marvi the Merciless. Been excited about this game. The Paper Cup Crook versus the Paper Palm Princess. <laughs> and out next. Ooh. Brandon the Rockfist Bandit versus Cap 
Captain Pinkbeard, who seems to have had a shave. Perhaps the shave is another ploy to distract his opponent. I like However, him. very clever. He is up against one of the coolest players in the game. He looks scared. Look at him. He, he doesn't know scared. what to do. He's played his moves wrong. Careful with that hook, mate. What's he going right. for? Where are we going? Oh, oh he's oh, gone. Paper. Oh, oh, rock. 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 Scissors. Brandon is gone. Brandon is going for paper. paper. Oh, oh scissors. Yes, we have a winner. Oh. Pinkbeard has won. Pinkbeard has won. With his beard back. Oh, that's fair play. That's that fair is play. good Ooh. sportsmanship. Okay. I like shake of the hook. He doesn't look very happy though, does he? He doesn't look very happy. No, fair play. Who do we have next? And we've got the next round. Pinkbeard up again without his beard. So this is Finley scissor fingers. Oh, look at the concentration. Oh. The concentration. Oh, we skipped again. Might be the merciless versus Captain Pinkbeard again. Captain He's Pinkbeard. back in the game. <laughs> How's that happened, Luke? I don't know. And stepping up into the ring, we have got Marby the Merciless versus Finley Scissorfingers. Watch her eyes. Heated battle. This could go any oh, Scissors. There's a scissors. Draw. We have a draw. Oh. A draw. Next nice. thing. What have we got? Oh, paper versus draw. And that is a win for Marvy the Merciless. See, watch your eyes. Finley is a sore. No, he's a good loser. He's got his beard back on. <laughs> beard is back. Oh, illegal move. I cannot believe it. I have not seen that for two years. Get out of here. That is you fantastic. Out of here. See you later, pink beard. I'm not surprised, Luke. I mean, the rules are there to be respected, not flaunted. Jada, it's a win nonetheless, take it. And now, we're heading into the final heat. Final heat, we have Marvy the Merciless, and who is she up against, Luke? We have got Jada, the paper cut crook, and this could be an epic battle. Both players have showed so much strength and determination throughout the competition. I mean, he is literally going crazy. The crowd are going wild. I think Ferris has actually gone mad. Look at the focus. Look at the intensity of both players. Focus. I don't need them breaking focus. This, this is tense. This is hard to watch. I can't watch. Tell I'm me when it's over. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. But it's going on, and it goes on. The spectators are, are going weary. <laughs> the spectators have left. Luke, what's going on? I don't know. I mean, this is this has been a, this a, it's been a stalemate, a total deadlock. This can happen. This can happen in the game. I was once at a game in South Wales that went on for, I believe, three months. Three months. Three months. I'm getting quite hot. Yeah. It is, it is warm. And as the commentators heat up, so does this epic battle that has been going on now for. Been going on for. Uh, I make it two hours, mate. We've been going on for two hours now, and neither player showing any sign of slowing down or going ahead. It is a complete stalemate. And we're still here. Five hours in. It's still going on. Still going on. What do you mean? Thank you. Much needed. Any sign? Are we still being paid for this? No, it's just that I've been here five hours now and my contract's at two, so I'm wondering what's going on with the whole time. Rock, paper. <laughs> 